Hey guys, welcome to the genealogy video. Um, in this video, I'm going to do something fun. I thought that I would, after spending the last hour <laughs> editing the wrestling video, um, I thought I would tell you some of the fun, interesting, unexpected, and sometimes downright sad things that you learn in genealogy by giving you examples from my own family. Okay. My great-great-grandmother was crushed by a tree in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Now, we were told that story. Um, she was deaf, which we found that the census um, confirmed Uh, but we weren't, which was the story, that she was deaf, she didn't hear them say timber, uh, her husband and her sons, well, <laughs> what's I going to say, evidently that was true, because when we found her death certificate, it said, crushed spine and head, as cause of death, ouch, Actually, probably happened so fast it wasn't time for ouch. Um, her name was Delia LaChapelle Hemingway. They never worked in the woods again. My great-great-great-grandfather, Frank Bordeaux, killed someone. <coughs> again, it was a family story. And... Um, it was said he was being bullied by the town in uh, Quebec, and he was tired of people bullying him. This one guy was really relentless. He was a tiny man. He took his cobbler's hammer and hit the man on the head and killed him. Escaped across the border to the U.S. Now, they thought, my family that's related through this man, thought it was their other grandfather. Well, my mother did some digging and she found out that Frank was the cobbler. So it was actually my great, great, great grandfather, which also would be theirs, but on, on the other side. Um, actually would be their great, great grandfather. Um, and yeah, that's actually their great grandfather. Yeah, because they were my grandmother's cousins. Um, so yeah, uh, my mother made the discovery that it was actually him. She said, that's why you have to listen to the stories, because there's truth in them. People get people mixed up sometimes, especially elderly people. Listen. Take notes. <coughs> and you will um, learn things that you can take and you can go back and you can research. And get the full picture. Um, had a few ancestors in insane asylums. I'm sure we all did. <coughs> there was a time when people got paid to put their relatives away. And they got paid double on Sunday. I kid you not, look it up. As a matter of fact, I will link that. Think getting paid for above. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. We learned we had family right in the next town over from us, and we never knew it. This wasn't, you know, family from way back. This was my grandmother's freaking first cousin. Um, but we were always told that he lived up near Boston. We finally met his children. Anyway, a couple of them. <laughs> and another thing that I think a lot of people are going to find in their families, <coughs> we had at least two bigamists in our family, if not more. Um, as I mentioned to you in a previous video, my family helped start a new church. During a row between the priest and the doctor, and 
Yeah, it was a mess. My third great-grandfather, Parmenas Dyer, as I mentioned in a previous video, was a very prominent physician and a politician. I believe he was Whig Party, and he wrote a... He founded a newspaper in Maine uh, that was political. My 10th great-grandmother, as, as mentioned, has a statue in Boston Com Common because they hung her for being a Quaker. She became a martyr. Um, I had several ancestors come aboard the Mayflower, and I had some come aboard the second ship that came here after the Mayflower, which was called the Anne. My great-grandmother, Patience Burgess, was a washerwoman. Um, for those of you who don't know what a washerwoman was, a washerwoman, <coughs> think Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Willie's mother was a washerwoman. They literally stirred a hot pot of clothing and they washed, they took in laundry for other people and washed it. That's what a washerwoman did. Only back in those days, they didn't have um, electric washers or anything like that. So they just literally, with a stick, stirred a pot of boiling hot water and soap and just and they would hand wring and it was it was a lot of work and um, I think it's very sad that that was her job you know but let me know in the comments if any of your ancestors had strange jobs or you know you found something weird um, We've had a lot of family find, like my mother found out that the person that, what well, she was told was her biological father was not. And we found a bunch of siblings and yeah. So, um, and I know other people who've had experiences like that. Uh, matter of fact, in that same family, because we all did DNA, my cousins found out that <laughs> their grandfather was actually the dude across the street, <laughs> not their grandmother's husband. <laughs> it happens, you know? It's just kind of funny. <laughs> when you... That's why I think the DNA is so important, because you never know what you're going to find. Their father's long dead. Their grandfather, the one they thought was their grandfather, and the one that actually was long dead. So it's not going to hurt anybody, but it was just funny, you know? Whoops, there was a dude across the street, you know? Um, 